So let's get into our conversation now. And very often, the media has the misfortune of reporting after the fact. But today we have the opportunity to address potential lawlessness and unauthorized demonstrating before the fact. In the studio with us, we have uh, two members of the coalition of unemployed bonded nurses and midwives and you know the situation that has been unfolding with them uh, two of them are here with us um, Ayibasa, michael adongo and david Uusu amponsa uh, are here with us Ayibasa and uh, david have come to us because they discover that increasingly their voice is not being adhered to it is not being uh, responded to by government and so they are planning a demonstration along the lines of what we saw in Kumasi. Gentlemen, good afternoon. Thank you for your time with us. Um, now, this problem with the unemployed bonded nurses has been going on for quite a while, but I thought the government was dialoguing with you. So why are you now thinking of marching on, on them? Thank you very much. And we want to use this opportunity to inform every Ghanaian that, yet yeah, it's true that the government has been dialoguing with that, but the dialogue has never yielded any positive results. Why are we saying there's not yet any possible results? We engaged governments, even the time they announced the issue of narco, that was somewhere uh, April 20, uh, 26th April. We have a discussion with the government as how we should do the employment and so many things. The government has saw that they are in course, and later on, even before that, the government even came out and gave a, uh, like, a number of people they are going to employ. And that was organized with by... With NAPCO? With not NAPCO. Or just as, bond, uh, uh, as, as bonded uh, yes. nurses and midwives? And, he, and that was organized by, the, uh, the press conference was organized by the then information means that that's Mustafa Hamid. Yes. And he said, government is going to employ 32,000 health professionals. And out of that number, 27,000 will be nurses. And they said they are going through validation process. So as I'm done with the validation process, they were able to engage us. And that one, they said, he went further to even stated that the, uh, the Minister of Finance have created financial clearance for us. It's not that they are yet to do, but we don't know why up to now, no single nurse in this country has been employed. And we are getting to the end of the year. And we have done series of demonstration, and even the little one is a to a fifth September, where the government came out and said they have scared financial clearance for fourteen thousand, just for us to only go and find out they said next year, and we only ask what has happened to the what they have budgeted for, has it got metal or evaporated? If only there is a good chance for us to use that in that in documents, we are all stuck, and we have laid in our option down to move to a flaster house. Wow. So that is why we are here. Mm -hmm. That's the target of your demonstration, yes. the Flagstaff House. Yes. Now, tell me, how many are you? How many uh, unemployed, bonded nurses and midwives? We, we are about, uh, we are 7,858 bonded nurses in this country. Mm. And the second part of this is that we have people in this country that are dying because there's no midwife to take care of them. Antenatal care in this country is very crucial. CWC, where they, after delivery, they will take care of the baby and so many things to go through postnatal and other things that will be able to let the child to be healthier. Mm. We have people are still dying that. Forgive me, just to clarify, you mentioned that um, when uh, Mr. Mustafa Hamid held a press conference, he said they would be employing how many? 32,000 health professionals Person. and 27,000 witnesses. That would include your 7,000? Yes. Okay, and that uh, financial clearance has already been secured? Yes, that's what he said. Mm. And they are going through the validation process. I so don't know how long it will take the government to go through the validation process and only have the information that they are going to do employment next year. So tell me, what was the last thing government told you about your, your situation? Uh, the last thing the government told we nurses uh, was when after the uh, 5th September demonstration, there was um, a communication from the PRO of the Ministry of Health saying they have secured financial clearance for nurses, which will take effect this year. But looking at where we are now in the year, the year is almost ending. And then after securing the financial clearance, it's not like... Uh, a one-month um, program, it will take a time for you to process uh, and validate the nurses before you, you, you employ them. So if they are saying they will still employ us within the year, then we still have a doubt about what they are saying. Right, so you plan, what do you plan to do about this? You're, all 7,000 of you are going to march on Flagstaff House? Yes. yes. When? The, 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 the issue is um, we have nurses who are under bond, and those are the people we represent. 
Uh, now we have to take a, a, a break, so we'll say a quick thank you to our guests, Ayubasa, um, Michael Adongo, and David Osampos, executives of the Coalition of Unemployed Bonded Nurses and Midwives. They are planning to march on the flagstaff, well, the uh, Jubilee House. Um, and when are you pl marching? On 29th. Uh, that's Monday. Right. Yeah. On, on Monday, they mm -hmm. plan to march yeah. on Jubilee House because they feel they are not being listened to. Until then, thank you very much for making the time to speak with us.